Hi everyone, welcome to this unboxing video uh, for the Elad FDM S3. So this is the uh, latest generation uh, SDR from Elad in Italy. A lot of you will know that I've been using their FDM Duo for a few years now. Brilliant SDR, um, probably one of the best ever in terms of absolute sensitivity, expensive, compared to what you can buy now from SDR Play, um, but still right up there. This is the next generation, the S3. And um, what makes this different is that, well, it's got a receiving range from nine kilohertz to 108 megahertz, um, but it also supports bandwidth uh, acquisition up to 24 megahertz, which is, uh, simply incredible and uh, even now I, 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 I'm starting to I, I still don't really understand how that well how your average DXO is going to find that useful but um, it also offers a lot of uh, improvements in terms of stability but I'll come on to so uh, but anyway the reason I've got this and it's been hush hush is because it was given to me by radio user magazine to test and write a review which I've now done, um, and by the time you see this video, that review will have been published. So uh, this is all going a bit back in time, but um, I just nevertheless thought it'd be you guys would find it interesting to see this thing out of the box. And as is normal with Elad products, um, you don't get, well, you can uh, tell from the box that um, this isn't a, a high volume electronics manufacturer like Icom or Yesu. There's nothing on the box other than a sticker to uh, denote the fact that we have the TCXO version. So that's the temperature controlled oscillator version. Um, and that there are other versions. Um, there's an, there's an uh, I think it's an oven controlled uh, oscillator version. Um, but uh, anyway, let's, let's unbox and uh, see what we've got. Wow. So the first thing to note is that this radio is very heavy in comparison to the FDM Duo, for example. Um, there it is, Elad FDM S3. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, but it probably weighs, it definitely weighs over a kilo. And it looks to be manufactured from sort of high quality components compared to some of their other products. Um, I mean, just going the switch on the back of the FDM Duo is almost a joke. It's so cheap. Um, not so here. So high quality materials, very well made, he very heavy. Um, on the front, we've got the power switch with a LED for indicate the units on. Then there's the antenna bias switching between one and two, and then the clock. So uh, these are the various clock options that you have with this uh, receiver. So there's a satellite controlled uh, reference, um, and then there's an external uh, clock reference, uh, on the, and then there's the internal lock. So um, four decent feet on the bottom. And on the rear we have, so that's the satellite reference antenna, uh, GNSS, reference input, reference out and then hf2 uh, antenna these are smas uh, bias one hf1 and vhf and then there's a d type connector for the uh, uh, io uh, external io output and then for some reason there's two dc inputs and out actually um uh these are power pole connections so uh, there should be a power pole uh uh, cable in the box usb3 for uh, controlling via the computer so there you go and again we've got some uh, allen key bolts holding the back panel on but um yeah overall a very heavy and a very looks like a very well made uh, piece of kit so let's put that there and then what else is in the box flash drive which i believe contains some uh, documents. I don't. I don't think it contains a copy of the uh, FDM SW2 control software. Um, a 3M. That looks like a sticky pad. Uh, right. Some SMA to BNC adapters. So that's actually quite a nice touch because um, 
on the rear of the unit you can see it's got some plastic rubber caps here um, all of the input RF connections in and out of this device are all SMA type so um, so that's quite nice that they've provided some adapters because not everybody more not everybody is um, what am I doing so there you go not everybody's going to be using um, BNC so uh, that's a nice touch I don't think I've ever seen that before um, and this looks like the right so that's the antenna for the uh, satellite reference for the clock uh, GNS GNSS antenna uh, GPS 1.57542 gigahertz so there you go that's a clock reference option there and then you've got the obvious, which is power pole cable connectors to power the unit up, and the and the um, USB three cable to uh, to control the radio. Interesting, actually. I'm surprised that there's no ferrite um, core on here. Um, my FDM Duo has one to sort of protect from RF noise, etc. So there's no ferrite on there at all, which is a bit surprising, but never mind. Um, so there you go. So um, so that's it. And that's basically all all that you get in the box with this radio. It's quite expensive. I think it's about 968 quid. Um, so it's an expensive bit of kit. And um, the purpose of this, it, 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 it moves on from the S2, I suppose, and the Duo in terms of um, the absolute sort of levels of stability that this uh, radio uh, can achieve, um, making millihertzing possible. So basically tracking signals um, over a period of hours to very high, you know, 24 hours to, to, to you know, to a very high level of precision. Um, so yeah, so you can, I mean, the fact that there are three options for the clock uh, make that pretty obvious, really. That's where this is. This is a more, this is, I suppose, marketed towards a sort of more high-end user. Um, what's going to be interesting is whether the sort of fundamentals, uh, which are, sens well, particularly sensitivity, the lesser, I suppose, to extent selectivity, because SDRs have almost infinite ways of um, uh, of adjusting, you know, audio bandwidth filtering and signal conditioning, etc. But, um, so there you go the FDM S3 testing to come so uh, that's about it I'll uh, my next move will be to get it powered up I once I've got it powered up I'll do another video um, I'll uh, I'm going to update the uh, FDM SW2 uh, software to the latest version and then uh, let's see if I can uh, uh, pick something up on this radio with one of my Welbrook loops but uh, so there you go that's my unboxing video for the Elad FDM S3. Uh, how exciting. Um, if it's better than the FDM Duo, uh, then it's going to be, which means it's going to be, which which is as good uh, as the RS, uh, as the SDR Play RSP DX, make, will make it an absolutely superb radio for sure. There you go. Thanks for watching.